What's up everyone and welcome to Monday's edition of Reptile News. Now we're going to start off today in Texas where a couple of men saw a rattlesnake go underneath their hunting cabin. Now usually a rattlesnake going underneath a hunting cabin is not really that big of a deal but the men wanted to see the rattlesnake so they used a skid steer to lift the hunting cabin up at which time they found more than 30 rattlesnakes under it. They promptly dropped it but not before taking a video which we don't really have but we do have this picture right here to show you. Let me get out of the way. There you go of a whole bunch of rattlesnakes underneath this hunting cabin. So I, I guess if I had to give any advice is a hunting cabin, chances are is vacant most of the time. Um, it's a nice dark, cool place. It's in Texas, it's probably pretty hot for snakes to hide. So not a big surprise, there's a whole bunch of them under it. Not only that, the time of year, they're probably hibernating under there. So awesome story out of Texas. They don't say what they did if they burned the cabin down or relocated the snakes. They don't say what the outcome is of it other than there was more than 30 snakes living underneath the hunting cabin. So now we're going to move on to another story which was kind of, I don't know, it, it, it was interesting. It was kind of funny at first but then it troubled me later. You see a man ordered some crickets because his local place was low and he received the crickets from FedEx to make a long story short and when he opened up the box all the crickets were loose inside the box and came out of the box. I don't know if all 250 of them that he ordered came out of the box but a lot of them came out of the box and I really got to thinking about it and I thought who is shipping crickets just who's shipping anything uncontained loose in a box it's, it's got to be some no name fly by night backyard something but no this was Fluker Farms that sent this which um, was really interesting because I'm not saying and I've, they've never done anything. I, I've never heard anything bad about them before. And to me, this is bad. So and I would love to hear from a representative of the company on, is this something normal that, that is done? And as, of course, I reached out to them. But as of this recording, there has been no response. Not sure there's going to be, but if there is, I'll let you know. And now we're going to move on to a story out of India, which is a sad story. It's a cool story, or it's kind of on a cool subject, but it's a sad story. And that is the remains of an albino crocodile were found. Now, it's currently undergoing some lab work to find out what the cause of death was, but they believe that it got caught up in a fisherman's net and which ultimately led to its demise. Now, this is pretty awesome. I mean, it's not awesome what happened. It's pretty awesome reading about this albino crocodile because they say this was an adult albino crocodile. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not a crocodile expert. I'm not an alligator expert. I'm not an anything expert. I'm not even a YouTube expert. But to see something albino in the wild for the average person, I believe is very, very rare. Um, I would love to hear from the crocodile experts watching this right now if there's any, how rare an albino crocodile would be, more specifically in that portion of the world, because maybe it's more or less rare there than it is anywhere else. So leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, like I said, sad story, um, awesome animal, albino crocodile, but sad story. And now we're gonna move on to probably one of the most coolest stories that I've talked about in a long time, and that is Snoop Dogg narrating a wildlife documentary, more specifically about reptiles. Now, as soon as I saw this, I absolutely had to watch it because I listened to Snoop Dogg quite a bit growing up, um, and it's a wildlife documentary about reptiles, so I absolutely had to watch it. Now, I found out pretty quick that this is actually a couple years old. This happened in 2017 on the Jimmy Kimmel Show, but nonetheless, I've never seen it before, and it was it's the most amazing. It just has you laughing. You guys go check it out. I'll show you a little clip here. Oh, get out of there, man. Go. <laughs> Did you see the feet on him? Oh, they coming from everywhere, cuz. This is crazy. Oh, that's... Up. You can go to the link down in the description, go to the website and watch the whole thing. I highly, highly recommend it. And that, my friends, has been all your news for this Monday. If you'd like to read more about these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White, and now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Have a safe new year and a happy new year, and we'll see you Wednesday. <laughs>